Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to the Fallout 4 playthrough. We are still here at the drive-in, but some things have changed as my settler sits down here right next to me. So let's go ahead and show you guys what has changed here at the drive-in. I have done a little bit of work off camera. Now, I do know that a lot of you guys like to watch all the building stuff. I felt as though the last episode had a lot of building in it. I didn't want to spend the entirety of this episode as well building, so I took what materials I had and I put this little thing together here. So it's a little bit more of a settlement. There's not really a whole lot to it to be perfectly honest all i really did was i kind of made some malls and i made this thing and look at the texture glitches yay texture glitches as it just glitches into the ground there but still uh i think it looks pretty cool i basically ran out of wood i have like no more wood left here in this area to actually take so that's something i'm gonna have to work on and i can actually bring wood here to, from a different settlement at a later date but for right now i think it's fine also found out you can scrap the barrels in here, which give this place radiation. So, no longer do I have radiation. Bam, I can just jump in here. I'm fine. I'm dandy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Fallout 4 playthrough. That's what we did. There is uh, two settlers there. There's no defense. There is some food. I did take the time to plant some stuff and so on and so forth. All I really did in terms of like the electricity was I hooked everything up. You got this light hooked up to the generator back here. Then you have this little pile on here because I put a light bulb inside the building there. And then you have this area over here, which, you know, of course has a generator and it's hooked up to allow the lights in this building to actually work so yeah that's all i did no real big changes and yeah so we're going to continue on our journey here now we actually need to go back and talk to preston garvey if i am correct on that yes we need to go back and talk to preston now i am actually well aware that i need to go to diamond city to actually advance the main story but for right now i'm just trying to do Minutemen stuff because I've never actually done any of the Minutemen stuff. I actually find it very cool going settlement to settlement and meeting people and going on missions and I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to leave them alone. I feel bad for these things. They're so, they're like little deer, like, you know, they're, they're, they're mutated deer essentially and I feel bad for them. They're, I mean, their life already has to suck enough. And is it, oh, this is a safe. Wait, was I already in this? Whoa. It looked like it was open already. I thought, was I already in this safe? But no, I was not. So we got some ammo out of that. There's dog meat. I was wondering where dog meat went. Uh, we also have a toilet here. So that's something. Just random stuff out here in the wilderness, which I think is pretty cool. I, I love just walking through the woods. Like, you can stay on the beaten path, sure, and you'll probably be okay if you stay on the beaten path. But if you really want to find some really cool and really interesting things, you go off the beaten path a little bit, and you're going to find some really cool stuff. Now, I think we're actually getting... Are we close to that area where I found... Oh, my goodness. It was, uh, it was one of the earlier episodes of the series. I think it was maybe episode four or five or something like that. We were just walking through the woods and I found this lady who was in a tub. I'm like, oh, a dead body in a tub. I didn't realize her limbs were cut off. And then right next to her was like her husband or something, I'm assuming, who was all chopped up into pieces and thrown to the trash can. Like, I was like, holy crap, this game is insane. This game is insane. And what in the world do we have here? Thicket excavations. I don't even, is this a settlement? I've never been here before. It looks like a settlement. It also looks like some place it's going to blow up if I try and walk through anywhere. So dog meat, no tripping mines. All right, sound fair? I mean, that water looks clean. As clean as water can look here. Huh. Okay. I've never actually been down here, interestingly enough. Let's just grab whatever we can in here. And I guess head out. Um, I'm sure this place has some significance. I mean, there's lights. Yeah, there's... Oh wait, there's a person. I, I don't know, guys. I never, I, I didn't see this person. Keep a distance. This has to be a settlement, right? This might be a settlement that I actually have to go to. I'm gonna use this crafting station. <laughs> Do I have anything I can cook? Do I have anything I can cook? I have some more rat chunks, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make a couple of those. I'm actually getting close to level 10 here, so that'd be pretty cool if I could get that. Can I make soups? No. Can I make utility, which is vegetable starch? No. I wonder. I think you get more recipes. By just doing things. I'm not sure exactly what all you need to do, but I know you can get more recipes for stuff by playing, and I'm hoping I get a little bit more. Like, not... Ooh. Would this be stealing? <gasps> this wouldn't be stealing for some reason, so I'm going to take this stuff. <laughs> I wonder if this... I mean, this is obviously, like, that person's thing, but none of it says I'm stealing, so I'm just going to go ahead and take from it. I don't know anything about it, but I'm going to go ahead and take from it, because why not? And let's open up this chem box and grab whatever's in here. See, this is why you which is why you try and stay off the beaten path. The beaten path only has so many things on it. Hey, I I just got a aw. I got an idiot savant proc and I didn't actually end up getting anything with it. 
Uh, well, is that everything in here? That's about everything here. We even got a sleeping bag. That's a nice little thing. My first time ever playing uh, Fallout New Vegas, which I barely played Fallout New Vegas, like very, very little. Um, like one of the coolest experiences of that game for me was walking out in the wilderness. I found a, a trailer kind of similar to that. And I'm like, oh, cool. So this is like shelter. Because I think it had like a sleeping bag or something in the same way as that. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I can sleep here. And then if I slept, I realized I got like a little bit of an XP boost. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. You know, I like making games that maybe aren't necessarily supposed to be survival games. I like turning them into survival games, essentially. So, yeah. So that was like one of my first experiences with New Vegas. Will I play New Vegas like a series after this? Probably not. Uh, because New Vegas is, like, so vast, and I would want to experience it, like, once before actually doing a playthrough. Like, maybe I'll do a playthrough of it after I beat it for the first time or something like that. But, uh, I w there's a lot about New Vegas that I want to uh, see and explore. And Oh, yeah, I can actually grab these. These are glowing fungus. You would think this place is, like, bad and it would hurt you because it's, you know, glowing. Turns out it's not the case. Turns out it's a-okay. You'll be fine. Wait. I think. Wait a minute. I think we were here before that. Yeah, we were here before. Yeah, we're coming across areas I know because I remember looking at that safe. All right, so there's should be like a bandit camp. Yeah, here's the bandit camp. <laughs> this is uh, uh, all these bandits. They tried to kill me. I wonder if their bodies are still here. Didn't I throw them in the bushes or something like that? I'm pretty sure I like drug all the bodies into a bush because I'm like, it makes more sense this way because if you kill people, then you throw them in the bush. No one's going to notice, which obviously it doesn't matter whatsoever. I'm sure they're in the bushes somewhere. I don't know if the game actually holds on to bodies that long. They, they could. I don't know. Let's grab this hub flower. So we do know that there's going to be like basically... Uh, whoa! I was going to say, we do know there's going to be basically nothing else uh, between here and Sanctuary. And then more rats attack because welcome to Fallout. All right. There's also a... Why in the world is a male... What? 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 Ah, yeah, both by me. <gasps> Wait a minute. The, 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 stim bat. No, don't. The stupid current. Uh, uh, there, get out of the water. Uh, uh, dying of radiation here. Why is that underneath there? I remember seeing an article when the game first came out. It's like, this person has explored every single underwater section of the map, so you don't have to. And then kind of part of it was, you know, he shows you where there's loot and stuff like that underwater. But I don't feel like going all the way through that. That just seems silly. Uh, maybe someday I'll explore the underwater reaches and such, but not right now. Was there really only one? I think it's interesting that there was only one mole rat. Don't they usually come in, like, swarms? <laughs> I guess not. Well, I mean, I guess they usually do, but that one, apparently not so much. So we're coming back up here on Sanctuary. So essentially what's going to happen here, I imagine, is we're going to say, Hey, Preston, they joined up with the Minutemen. Or, no, they, there's nobody there to join. We built a new base for the Minutemen. And he's going to be like, Yo, great job, man. Here's another place for you to go. Which I'm all for that. I'm excited for that kind of a thing. That body comes back. I remember in the last episode, I took this guy's body and I threw it over the edge and the body ends up coming back every single time. I'm like, no, let's get the body off the middle of the street. Let's just dump him over there. And yeah, it won't stay that way. There is the great fence of sanctuary that I put together. Look at it. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Look at all that defense. I'm going to come in here. The whole town is just going to be under siege. <laughs> Although, uh, to be perfectly honest, I have put like two days of playtime in the Fallout 4, like on my first playthrough with my main character, and not once did I actually ever see uh, anything try to invade Sanctuary. Apparently, they can attack your summit. I've never seen it. And while I'm here, let's go ahead and craft this. Uh, wait, it doesn't work that way. Hold on, wait, or does it? Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. Okay, hold on. We need to back out here. I've been carrying the right leg for this thing the entire time. <laughs> The entire time. And, oh wait, broken items cannot be equipped until they've been repaired. I don't know how to repair it. I assume... Ah, I'll figure it out later. Where are the people? I'm home. Uh, uh, Mama Murphy? What? Is there a rat on the floor? Like, what? <laughs> what? Just... I need to be alone right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is everybody... <laughs> Preston, what's wrong with it with the Minutemen? I'm, uh, <laughs> why are they all standing on their bed? <laughs> Alright. 
And let's just harvest that stuff. I I forget I have a mini map. I'm like, wait, where's Preston? Yeah, Preston's probably standing on my bed, isn't he? Oh my gosh, he is, isn't he? What is with you people? <laughs> Why? I don't understand. Oh, Hiya. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual. I have something else for you to look into. A pack of ghouls has holed up near a settlement. They could use our help. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So see what you can do to help. Yeah. Now, Green Top Nursery. <gasps> I think I've been there. That place is beautiful. It is freaking beautiful. Um, oh, I, 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 part of me wants to take this lamp for their materials. Part of me wants to leave it because it was Sean's lamp. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I did the same thing on my, my, like, my initial playthrough. I was like, I don't want to like remove anything from my house. This is my house, you know. But this Green Top Nursery it is run by ghouls. Not feral ghouls, but ghouls nonetheless. Let's see how far away it is. It is... Oh, wow. That is... Uh, that's quite the journey. I'm not going to lie. So... Let's, uh, we're gonna do a fast travel here at Ten Pines Bluff, and then we'll head there from there, because that's a very, very long walk. But yeah, it's a bunch of ghouls who run a nursery. It's actually, like, the cool, like, not, probably not the coolest, because I haven't seen them all. But it's one of the coolest looking places, I think, in the game. I'm definitely excited to go there. I didn't, again, I haven't done any of the, uh, stuff here for the Minutemen, but I did stumble ac across that place just in my travels and my adventures. So how's this place going? Hey, yeah, you guys remember this? I set this up? Yeah, you do. Look at that. That's a good watch tower. You see that? You can see the whole area. You don't have any walls or anything. And it's just you and your wife in this one hut. But, uh, you know, you guys are keeping on, keeping on. Oh, I built you this building down here. And I gave you a light bulb. Yeah, you guys are good. Welcome to the Minutemen. We have light bulbs. Oh. Wait. No? Huh? Ah, now it all makes sense. All right, then we're, we're going to put that there. So what happened here was, you guys remember that mod I have where I did use? I, I haven't used it in a while because it bugs out. It makes so I can't sprint occasionally. But uh, the spring cleaning mod. Apparently, with the spring cleaning mod, you can get rid of that broken down building. That's why the generator was, like, broken in, like, into the ground right there. And it's, like, clipping into the floor because it was not there initially and when you remove the spring cleaning mod it will put back all of the stuff that you removed so just something to bear in mind now this area i'm actually kind of weary to go through this is where i encountered my first legendary uh guy it was i think it was a super mutant all right is that legendary no for somebody let's just check this one more time i check it all the time but for somebody that's playing on the survival difficulty we're not seeing a lot of legendary guys we really aren't <laughs> they are very few and far between whoa Calm down there. Okay, we got another dog. We got these wild dogs just kind of walking the train tracks. That's kind of cool. Gotta be fair. Ooh, look at that sky. Freaking beautiful, guys. Freaking beautiful. I love this game. I really do. I don't think you guys understand how much I just enjoy Fallout 4. Like, big open world fun games like this, I have so much fun with. Now, are there bandits up there or are those good people? I know there's people that live up there. I just don't know what kind of people. And I'm pretty sure you can take an elevator to get up there, but I'm not going to do that right now because I've got places to be. And I'm also kind of worried that uh, I'm just going to die because there's going to be a lot of guys up there with guns and there's going to be me. And there's a downed airplane. Oh, there are several downed airplanes. Okay, there's a, uh, a, a ridiculous... Wait. Minuteman. Or Minuteman. Wait a minute. Are these the bad Minutemen? The Minutemen that... Because there's like the Quincy Massacre or something. I don't know much about the lore of these guys. Skyline's Flight, 1981. Here comes me. Are we friendly? Can I take your stuff? Hiya. This site belongs to the Minutemen. I'm the general of the Minutemen. Uh, I don't want to unlock that because I don't know if... It, oh, no. This looks like I can take all the stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and sneak some of this stuff. I mean, a little stealing never hurt anybody, especially when they don't know what's happening. It's weird being on, like, the inside of a plane like this. Ah, they got the bodies and all. Squirrel on a stick. I actually need that to make... 
There's a recipe, I forget what it is, but if I make it, it's a it's like a soup, and scroll on stick is one of the pieces I need, I can get increased experience. And ooh, cap stash next to a dead body, but there's also radiation in there, so I'm gonna avoid that. What in the heck is this? Okay, I wanna go explore, guys. I, I wanna get through here, but this place is it's too big to not explore. There is so much stuff here. Look at all these suitcases. <gasps> This is so cool. So this is the luggage. Oh, this makes so much sense because it's underneath the plane and there's a bunch of suitcases here. It's because this is all of the luggage from when the plane went, went down. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, you guys. The attention to detail is so awesome. Uh, wow, there's like literally nothing in there. All right then. <laughs> uh, Medex. Uh, summer shorts. Antifreeze bottle. I'm going to grab the bottle. You never know. Hey, we got a short pipe pull action rifle. I can sell that or give it to people. Something I keep forgetting to do is I should really be arming. Hey, there's the name of thing here. I should be arming my people. Shotgun shell. Fusion. Sh All right. Okay. I should be arming the people of my settlements. That's just something I should be trying to do more. Uh, so, okay. There's a light there. Yeah. Okay. So there's a walkway. I, I suppose taking the walkway would be the easiest way to get through here. Now, hello to you. Uh, oh, okay. You got, hey hi. Hey, he even called me general. Now, what in the world? How are you guys, like, how do you know I'm the general? Ooh, flight data recorder. I bet you I can play that. Let's play it. Uh, inventory, aid, miscellaneous. I think it's in there. It'd be in the miscellaneous, right? Uh, e no. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. Is it junk? Oh, it's under junk. Oh, I thought you could, like, play it and, like, you could, like, hear some kind of, like, a thing that happened. Apparently not. Let's open up his suitcase. So apparently, I, I don't know too much about what's happening right now. So we're part of the Minutemen, sure, but I haven't recruited these people. Now, there were other people that are part of the Minutemen, I thought. <gasps> Raider chest piece, Raider leg, and road leathers. Um, unfortunately, I don't think any of this stuff is actually going to be helping me because I can't put it on top of my already awesome-looking gear. I do need a new helmet. Like, if I get one of those Raider head pieces, I'll probably wear it. Uh, so I have a little bit more health in my head. <laughs> it's like stuff getting uh, basically cracked. But um, yeah, these guys are apparently part of the Minutemen. I know that there was other Minutemen that like were separate from us. But those guys aren't like against me. So I don't know. Now what in the world is that thing? It looks like a giant uh, whatever Codsworth is. Uh, General Atomics, a robot thingy, whatever. That's what it looks like. Now let's take a quick. Oh! Why does that guy have a skull? But his name is Greeter, but he has a skull next to him, which probably means he'll kick my butt. Right? <gasps> That's General Atomics! I get it now! It makes so much sense. Hold on, guys. Quick save. General Atomics Galleria. Hold on. I would just like to say hi. Hi. Uh, I, 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 I don't want to lie because these things could probably massacre me. What, you're waiting for your supervisor? What, you're waiting for your supervisor? Unfortunately, yes. If you happen to meet that laggard, let him know that he is 210 years late for his scheduled <laughs> shift. I need him to report to the director's office in the statue for immediate assignment. In the meantime, I'm afraid the Galleria is closed to the general public. But if you have any questions, I'd be happy to assist you. What in the world? Oh my gosh, why is it closed? I'm sorry, but due to pending litigation, I am unable to comment. Please direct your inquiries to the General Atomics Legal Affairs Division. <laughs> I bet it'd be really cool to have Codsworth with me right now. What is this, what place? Is this place? I'd like to learn more. Our Wait, what? Array of stores are staffed entirely <gasps> by the General Atomics line of robots. That means there's going to be lots of stuff here, right? The and versatility of a robotic workforce. Come in and experience the General Atomics difference. That's all. Very well. Have a nice day. So my good, so my, uh, my, am I good to walk, uh, walk around here? Oh, we got guard gutsies. Keep your personal belongings wherever the hell you want. What? I'm so confused, guys. I really am. Oh. Don't be shy. Step into the ring. See if you can laugh around against the champion, <laughs> the world's greatest boxing instructor. 
What? I don't want to box robots. I, I, I was supposed to go help your ghouls out, but... 20 pound dumbbell. <laughs> what the? This is so... I don't even... Don't no! Don't make me fight. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Oh, they have a bunch of stuff here. Oh. Whoa! Why? 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 What did I do? What did I do? I didn't even steal. I was just looking. Oh my gosh! I don't even know if it's possible for me to even kill all these guys. And even I think it'd be no better idea. Better idea. Let's load that quick save. I don't know what happened, guys. <laughs> I okay. So better idea. Um. I I am. Welcome to the General Atomics Galleria. All right. Yes. Uh. Yes. Uh, that's right. Yes. That's right. Chance to get settled in. I want all the stuff that's here. <laughs> His office is located in the statue in the center of the plaza. The galleria is currently closed to the public, but staff and employees are permitted on the grounds, of course. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to assist you. Right on, that's all. Okay, so I'm gonna go talk to this guy. I'm sure there's a lot more to it than just that. Ah, <laughs> lethal force against looters, which makes sense because there's so much good loot here. But I imagine if you kill all the robots, you'll just have like an absurd amount of loot to go through here. Huh. All right. <laughs> and communists. This game is so. Wow. All right. This guy, I right, then, what's up, bro? Right I ain't going nowhere. Sarcastic. Well, the mafia wasn't accepting applications, but I do my best. Uh, I'm no criminal. I'm reporting in as ordered. I'm reporting in as ordered. Reporting in. Wait, the grand reopening? Are you grand reopening supervisor 18 Alpha? Uh, only a couple hundred years, but yeah, yeah. No, no, really. I'm just exploring. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication, so I'm going to need to see your ID, sir. Oh, psh, manual activation. Isn't there any other kind? Uh. Wait, manual activation. Is there any other kind? Automatic activation was scheduled it worked. for January 1st, 2078. Wait. Analyzing. Corrupt task detected. Task scheduler repaired. Now executing previously scheduled task. Accessing protocols. All units, stand by for the grand reopening. What? So we're, we're good? Reopenings? I'm so confused. <laughs> new facility supervisor. Done. The General Atomics Galleria is now open for business. Yeah. Grand reopening supervisor, you will be conducting tonight's customer appreciation raffle. Here is the grand prize. That'll be all, soldier. $15? Pre-war money, $15 is the grand prize. Okay, then. Well, apparently this place is opening now. I hear dog meat down below me. Uh, I guess he couldn't get up there. Or maybe they killed him. I have no freaking clue. They better not have. I'll kill every robot here if they hurt dog meat. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. I'm just going to jump down. I'm tired of waiting. All right. So this is like the grand reopening, right? Do I even have a quest here? Or is it like what happened? All right. So we got ghouls there. Oh, wait. Alright, so he's just gonna keep barking orders at us. Well, I mean, 
Are you gonna... Oh! So am I good to, am I good to loot everything here now? Oh my gosh, if I'm good to loot everything here now, I'm gonna be so happy. I don't think we have any customers incoming. Alright, so we got you guys there. I can grab these bottles. I just wanna make sure like I'm good to grab stuff. And then I'm just gonna grab everything. Alright, Nuka Cola bottle, mine. Oh, this is so good. Uh we're just gonna rob Oh, jukebox. That's right. I've never actually seen one of these before in this game. I've only seen the radios. And too bad I'm not able to play music because that would be really cool. Potato crisps. What all do we got here? Wait a minute, what's back here? Buff out. Oh, oh no, I don't want to pickpocket you. He, he was red because I was crouched down, so I was like assuming like he was going to be hostile to me. We have some like lowly food things there, but nothing really great. We have a, uh, that's a Waitron. This is so cool, so I just get to loot all the stuff here. That's awesome. Ooh, I, don't, I can't unlock that door. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, more, I'm more here for to loots. Wait, this, this place stinks. I mean, they're all dead. <laughs> yeah, they sure are. <laughs> oh yeah, they, they 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 sure can. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so odd. Okay, so this guy is completely unaware about the fact these guys are all dead. Not gonna lie, it's kind of creepy. But they're robots, so it's not as bad. Now here, oh, now here's the thing. Let's do a quick save. I, w I wonder, am I going to have to box that jerk again? Or am I able to just get in here and take... Ah, yes, Jets, Jets, Stim Pack. Buff out, buff out, buff out. Of course, all this place would be in the gym. It makes perfect sense. Do we have anything good here? Uh, no, no. Doesn't look like it. I can take... <laughs> I can take all these dumbbells. Can I just, like, swing that around as if it were a weapon? Because that would be hilarious. Boxing glove. Let's take the boxing glove, because why not? I don't know why there's only one boxing glove, but there's only one. Why is this suddenly stealing? If it's in there, I'm taking literally everything else. Hey, there's, and there, there, there's another boxing glove. I don't know if you're, you can even wear two, though. I'll take two just in case, though. But yeah, why is that suddenly stealing? If I go into there, but I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, guys. It doesn't make any sense. We have a bowling alley here. And, real quick, did I go through all the buildings? So this is the place, if I'm correct, with the... No, I thought this was the place with all the dead stuff. Apparently not. I haven't been here. Oh, wow! This place has all the, uh... It's like all clothing-based stuff. So we got green dresses. And cotton yarn. And things of that nature. Okay, uh... Summer shorts. Clothes hangers. Uh... Ooh, lamps. I want the lamps. Oh, carrying too much. Oh, come here, dog meat. Where are you, buddy? I always forget that uh, your companions, including dog meat, as unrealistic as it is, uh, can carry things for you. But then again, this game isn't supposed to be based off realism, I would I would say. So like, we're just going to go ahead and give dog meat a bunch of stuff here. Uh, TA-45, right leg. It actually doesn't carry wait, anything because it's broken completely. Uh, what we got weapons-wise I can give him? Uh, the big gym. Uh, wait, wait, yeah, uh, missile launcher. There you go. We'll give him the missile launcher, and there you go. So now I'm not nearly as over encumbered, and we're gonna be good to go. I can't believe we randomly. That's the fun fall, guys. I randomly just walked, just walking through on my way to a thing, and it's like, hey, look at this place. Hey, that's General Atomics. That's kind of cool. Then I kind of just BS my way into becoming, I don't know, the supervisor for here. And yeah, ooh, light bulbs. There's a lot of fridges here. I love how every fridge is also broken. Well, I guess the only thing left to look at in here is that ooh, tuxedo, full on tuxedo. I'm taking the tuxedo, and that's it. Wait, what was that? What what's happening? What? Who or what is happening out there? 
Uh, there's a bowling alley back there I want to look at, but... Oh. So that car randomly blew up. All right, back to looting. <laughs> back to looting. Um, do we get everything? Oh, this is the... Oh, I love these things. The discount nuke protector things. Nuclear protection on a budgie. Stand here in case of a nuclear thing. And There you go. I love these things. All right, uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I've gone just about everywhere that actually... Wait, ball caps are in there. Mine. And that's a door that I can open. Oh. I feel like I shouldn't be in here. Hi, Tort. How you doing? Oh. Oh. I didn't mean to... I meant to press W. Uh, Barger. Got a few minutes to browse. Lord, what have we got? <laughs> Probably not a lot. Uh, Purify water. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't really have a lot. Anything that they would. Uh, anything that they have, I can pretty much take because I am the supervisor guy here. Although, to be honest, these guys, they really don't have anything. Really nothing whatsoever. Oh, wait. Yeah, Stim Packs and right away. Worth it. Completely worth it. And this door has a novice lock on it. Let's go ahead and open that up. Oh, it just takes me outside. Boo, look at, oh man, look at freaking sunrise here. Oh, so nice. So nice looking. So if I go into every store here, I'm pretty sure I have hey, a dog bowl for dog meat, but I don't really care too much about that right now. Uh, that looks like everything. Can I go inside the bowling alley? That's the big question. Back alley bowling. I imagine there's going to be something of significance in here. If not, I'll be a little bit disappointed. But if there is... Something cool, then I'll be pretty pumped. So, I think it'll be worth it. Oh. It. Back alley bowling. I'm afraid our lanes are out of order today. But feel free to take a look around. I hope you enjoy your visit. I hope I do as well. Ding! <laughs> This is amazing. I've never been here. This is okay. So we got beer bottles. Do we have any actual beer here? Are you the bartender? Are you the bartender? I'm sorry, sir. With the lanes closed, we're not opening the business. And Nuka Cola. There's actually a Nuka Cola in. There's actual Nuka Colas in the machines. That never happens. <laughs> this is so creepy. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is pretty freaking amazing. Uh, bowling balls. There's a teddy bear in the thing. Oh, I'll give that to dog meat eventually. Ah, yeah, screw it. We'll get a dog meat now. Hey, dog meat, come here. Come here, buddy. And trade. I think you could use another teddy bear. How's that sound? Because I've already given you, what, two? Yeah. Uh, my junk. And scroll on down to the teddy. Wait, where is teddy? Why is teddy not under junk? Oh, there he is. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Guys, I'm dumb. There. <laughs> there you go. Uh, now, if I were making this game, I would hide some really cool stuff back here for the people that decided to come all the way up here and look. But it doesn't look like there's anything cool up here. Maybe there is, and I'm just going right past it. That could be entirely the case, too. Now, this back, the door to behind the lanes, actually, you can get back here. Oh, so this is what it looks like back there. I've always wondered. Always wondered. I am certainly enjoying my day at the Galleria. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, bayoneted tuned hunting rifle. Pocketed metal left arm. Ball caps, 38 rounds. So much good stuff, guys. Whoa, buddy. Thank you for uh, backing up. Let's grab a couple of these light bulbs. So this episode did not go the way I anticipated it. I did not anticipate to find this place. I had not anticipate to do this much looting but when you get to a place like this you've really got to take your time and go through a lot of the stuff that's here but um you know obviously i don't take too much time alarm clock for sure supervisor's terminal i'm not nearly smart enough to unlock that desk fan i'm not carrying too much again military grade duct tape uh stim pack radix dog meat hey buddy i need to trade you some more stuff because i'm getting pretty over encumbered i need to go to diamond city eventually or any place really where i can just sell a bunch of this stuff uh, let's see here. What weighs the most? I actually sort this by weight. 
And there we go. So the submachine gun, I'll keep the, I'll keep that. We'll get rid of the hunting rifles. So get rid of this stuff. Yeah. All right. Now I'm wondering how much. Whoa, that thing looks cool. 49 damage, but slow. Huh. Wait, 49 damage, but slow. But you compare that to my weapon that I'm using now, 49 damage and medium. Yeah, this thing is too good. It has made life so much easier just with how ridiculously overpowered this tire iron has been for us. Now, where does this lead to? What? Gosh, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. I didn't even really fully explore the front area of the place. I'm just going through back here, and there's also there's like all kinds of stuff here. 10 millimeter rounds, and we got all kinds of ammo, which is going to be great. When I get to a place like Diamond City where I can actually, uh, but where I can actually like have a bunch of vendors and stuff, I am going to sell so much stuff. Okay, so we have one beer bottle there. Oh, come on. Tell, don't tell me bandits or raiders have looted all the alcohol from this place. I need alcohol as a melee player. Guess not. Guess not. I can't quite get behind here for some reason. Like, literally, I can't get back there. Whatever. <laughs> um, let's see. What we got up here? This place is really cool looking. So, if you guys are ever in the area, I would definitely recommend stopping by the general atomic stuff here you can do exactly what i did and just kind of bs your way uh to be able to have access to loot literally everything that there is to find here in this place now can i go into here this is going to take me into yeah i understand i understand it all makes sense now what's back here that's the big oh, okay we got jangles the moon monkey i don't even know what that's for but it's kind of kind of rare really and i can't get the safe i'm super disappointed that i can't get the safe well, whatever. You can't get everything, I suppose. But, I mean, I think we've gotten almost every... I would say about 200 years overdue for a good cleaning. <laughs> yeah, by a few hundred years. Uh, I think we've seen about all that there is to see here. Uh, we didn't go through the bathroom, but, I mean, what great stuff could be in the bathroom? I always anticipate a goal jumping out at me from, like, one of these stalls when I open them. But never ends up happening. Hey, a cap stash. Would you freaking look at that? Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, so much fun. <laughs> there's just so much, like, loot and stuff just everywhere. I mean, look at this, there's, there's summer shorts. There's actually a lot of summer shorts here. Why is some guy's right hand here? This is where people, like, put their stuff in. It's like where people leave, like, the lockers, right? They, they, they put their sho real shoes and stuff like that in there. Oh, this is just... Kind of sad, but kind of awesome at the same time. Not going to lie. This place is pretty cool. But I think we found just about everything that there is to find here. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to go ahead and conclude this episode of the Fallout 4 playthrough. Perhaps with the next episode, we'll do a lot less looting. But uh, still, I thought we found a lot of really cool stuff here in this episode. So that was definitely a lot of fun. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Drop me a rating. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.